Okay guys, so today I will be showing you all of the new stuff in the new Phantom Forces update today. And be sure you stick around to the end because some of these new guns are actually kind of crazy. And uh, yeah, if you just want to see everything that's in the new update, the new game modes, the new maps, it will all be covered in this video. So be sure to watch to the end and also be sure to subscribe so I can hit 10k. And let's get started. Okay, so I was figuring there wouldn't be an April Fool's update for um, Van Forces, but uh, I get on here and uh, it's a game mode called Stab, and it's a Call of Robloxia 5 map, and uh, um, they also added a um, text on the screen, on the, the, you know, the loading screen, and I'm just going to open it up here. So this is, what it, this is what it is right here, and I was like trying so hard to see what this read, because I, I thought it was just, you know, like a little warning message or something, and it says, this is subjective for player to player we cannot guarantee the quality of the experience but right here it says did you ever hear the tragedy of birth plague us the wise if uh, if you guys don't understand it's a little star wars reference so that was uh pretty neat but i guess this uh this game mode called stab it's just a uh melee only uh game mode pretty much oh my god okay that guy's dead but when i heard stab i immediately thought of like you know the scream movies you know how in the scream movies there's the the stab movies that's immediately what i thought of personally and it doesn't appear like you get that map and game mode pair every time kind of like how april fool's update i think it was two years ago was the um friendship forces update which uh let's just say was really not that good <laughs> okay i guess i'll check out this new gun and see what it's like yeah there's definitely a mod in this server this also has a um, semi-auto and burst conversion. Interesting. I'm just going to buy a simple little setup here. Extended mag. Okay, that, that might be useful. It has a thousand fire rate. But the stats overall, I think they looked kind of similar to the Chris Vector. So I guess we'll test this out at CQC. Okay. This uh, doesn't feel too bad. But yeah, this seems like a pretty good CQC gun. I mean, the the, the, the damage ranges look awful, just just to say the least. These these damage ranges really suck. And it's a little recoily, but I mean, overall, it, 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 it it's reminiscent of the Chris Vector, I guess, if that makes any sense at all. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well, uh, it's ruined. All right, I tried to find a containers of fun map, but I couldn't find one. But I guess we'll um, test out the 5.0 now. Looks pretty interesting. Oh, this is a burst. Okay, I guess we'll just use the full auto conversion then in that case. Because I suck with burst guns and ammo. You have 45 ACP and 9 by 19. Um, I guess we'll just try default first. Is there a torso multiplier? Okay, so it two shots close range to the torso. Interesting. I guess after that, we'll try 9 by 19. 45 ACP doesn't really look that interesting, to be honest. Oh my god. Yeah, this is very recoily. Yeah, I bet this is probably just like a, um, it's a very battle rifle-esque gun. High damage, high recoil, low magazine. Yeah, that, that's the vibe I'm getting from this. We'll test 9x19 next because it looks more like an, uh, your average assault rifle is 9x19. Alright, we'll try out 9x19 here, see what that does. Okay, so this is another game mode before we try 9x19. This is um, a game mode called Duel, which looks like it's secondary only. This should be interesting. Looks like a smallish map just to have those close engagements, I guess. I'm not going to lie, I, I don't know about these game modes. I don't know if they're permanent or what, but I'm assuming they probably aren't going to get voted for too much just because they're a little extra, I guess, but I, I, I like them. They're, they're not bad. Yeah, this seems like a pretty fun game mode. Okay, I think this is Contenders of Fun. Oh, yeah, I've seen this map before. This was in the test place for a really long time. These are comically large barrels. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this is a little more like the average assault rifle, as expected. I feel like there's a lot of hiding spots in this map. This would be a nice camping map or spawn trapping map or something like that. But yeah, I also like that it has 34 rounds and not just, you know, your normal 30. Makes it a little more interesting, I suppose. Seems like the strat for this map is just to go to the top of the containers and shoot people below. But yeah, this AR-9, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty nice. I, I like this. Or, well, I guess it's the... The, uh, let me see. The 5-0. Yeah, 5-0. It's pretty nice. Okay, so the other two new guns are actually, um, LMGs, it looks like. They're very high ranks, 176 and 196. And I don't believe there's any new secondaries. I don't believe. No, there isn't any. Well, no. No, that's, that's not new. Okay, so I guess we'll start out by using the MGV-176. has very, very low damage, but it has a monstrous fire rate of 1,450. Oh man, this thing should be interesting. 
I think this is a World War II era weapon with the, uh, the little magazine on top. This is definitely a DCL type gun. <laughs> I have a feeling the recoil is going to be very not good, I suppose. Oh, actually, the recoil is very low. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Not one bit. Oh my god. I think this thing's going to be good. Despite the low damage. Oh my god, this thing's going to be nuts. And the damage drop off isn't even that big. I think it's like 13 to 11. Which, again, it's horrible damage. But you got to consider the 1,450 fire rate. And this laser beam recoil. And then you also have 161 rounds in a magazine. Oh, they added limb multiplier. I guess that's new. There's actually surprisingly a lot of new content in this update. Like, I've already been recording for 20 minutes. So this is going to be a longish video by my standards. This thing's, an, this thing's a beam. This is literally the AUG of LMGs. Head multipliers too, so you'll be doing 26 to the head. So the the damage is okay if you hit the head, I suppose. But yeah, this thing is uh this something is something all right. Okay, I guess we'll check out the Stoner 96. This uh this looks like the M60 in a way, I suppose. I like the model. It it does four shot at long range, has a hundred rounds in a magazine. Yeah, this is this is very this is very much like uh the M60. Definitely the older M60 because it doesn't four shot anymore. But I guess we'll see what this is like. I'll go ahead and throw a setup on this. All right, and here it is, the gun for stoners, the Stoner 96. <laughs> oh yeah, this is this is just a carbon copy of the old M60, quite literally. Same same reload, same everything. Maybe the recoil is a little more bouncy, but yeah. Oh, I've seen this map before. I played on this on uh, back when I used to run my private server um, streams. Those were good times. This thing, this thing's really good too. I can easily see these two LMGs getting a nerf of some sort. Someone said they changed the G36 reload sound, so I guess we'll check that out. Yeah, they did slightly. I like the old G36 reload sound though. I'm, I'm not sure about this new one. So I figure I'll probably come out with all the best setups for these new guns tomorrow. So that would be like four shorts in one day. So if you want to know like the best setup for these, They'll all be coming out tomorrow. Because I figure a lot of people are probably going to be looking for a good setup for these guns. And as everybody knows, I totally have the best setups. No, nope. Def definitely, definitely, there, there's definitely no better setups. Mm -hmm. sure, yeah, totally. But yeah, I think that pretty much covers mostly everything for this new update. So, if you want to see more videos, then please subscribe because I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.